Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to say something. Please watch video completely. Sit with copy pane. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have facing any problem or difficulties, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Here the what the question says, a parallel plate capacitor has a dielectric slip of dielectric constant K between its plates that covers 1 by 3 of the area of its plates. According to the figure, the total capacitance of the capacitor is capital C, while that of the portion with dielectric in between is C1. When the capacitor is charged, the plate area covered by the dielectric gets charge Q1 and the rest of the area gets charge Q2. The electric field in the dielectric is E1 and that in the other portion is E2. Choose the correct option and options. It may be multiple choice question. Ignoring edge effect. Here A, E1 uh, e upon E2 is equal to 1. E1 upon E2 equal to 1 by K. Q1 upon Q2 equal to 3 by K. And last D option is C upon C1 equal to 2 plus K by K. This question is asked J e. Advance 2014. Now, let us consider the area of the plate is A capital A and the distance is given small d. Initially, the A by 3 part of the area of the plate is filled up with dielectric constant. The dielectric constant is K. And remaining, remaining portion, what is the remaining portion? 2A by 3. Because A by 3 we have using the dielectric medium, so remaining portion is 2A by 3. Here 2A by 3 remaining as it is means air. So, here we have using C1. C1 means with dielectric medium. Capacitance with dielectric medium is uh, epsilon naught K A by 3 and D. And with air, we can consider that is C2, epsilon and here 2A by 3 because uh, it is air, K is 1 and the distance is same, D. You know that very well, when dielectric medium is kept in this way and works as a parallel capacitors. So, C equal to C1 plus C2. Here given question, the sum or total net capacitance is C. So, C equal to C1 plus C2. Now, substitute this value, epsilon naught K A by 3 and D. And second, epsilon naught 2A by 3D. Now, epsilon A by 3D get common. Then it becomes K plus 2. Here, in this option, you can see that C upon C1. We have to find out C upon C1. It means C upon C1 means epsilon naught A by 3D K plus 2 divided by C1 means epsilon naught A by 3D and K. Then this portion will be cancel out K plus 2 and K. Now let's see here yes D option is correct because C upon C1 is uh, equal to 2 plus K by K. So here D option is correct. As we know that electric field E equal to V by D. So therefore, dielectric medium is not affected here and potential is the same and distance is the same for E1 and same thing E2 equal to V by D. So E1 upon E2 is equal to 1. So now you can see that your A option is also correct. Now for Q1, Q1 equal to C1V and what is C1? Epsilon uh, here K dielectric medium and A by 3 and D 
this is a C1 and V. Okay. So Q1 means charge is given only that portion which we have using the dielectric constant K is using. And now Q2 epsilon A by 2A by 3 D. It is Q2 and uh, potential is V. So now Q1 upon Q2 because all these ratio Q1 upon Q2, E1 upon E2 we have already find out, C upon C1 we have find out. So therefore Q1 upon Q2 then uh, epsilon k epsilon k a by 3d divided by 2 epsilon a by 3d potential v and this is v we cancel out 3d 3d cancel out epsilon a cancel out then q1 upon q2 is equal to k by 2 and uh, here q1 upon q2 is 3 by k so therefore c option is incorrect only A and D is the correct option. So here multiple choice question. I hope so you understand this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. And yes, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.